107.5 BLS. I gotta tell you, we've given away so many tickets, the phones have been ringing. Everybody is excited about Cheaper to Keeper. They're all texting tonight. me too. Oh, what are they saying? <laughs> Everybody's like, I'm coming to the show tonight. <laughs> tell Can't me wait about to this see. Show. What you do? Cheaper to Keeper is starring myself as well as a very talented Brian McKnight. And when you come to see Cheaper to Keeper, it's an excellent stage play that's kind of like a sitcom, a soap opera, and a concert all combined in one. Um, I play Morgan Mays, who is married to Raymond Mays, played by Brian. And basically, Raymond is experiencing the seven-year itch. Mm -hmm. And he thinks that the grass is greener on the other side of the street. Mm -hmm. So we let him know if you want to go over there and check out that grass. If you want to play, yeah. you got to pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's also, also co-starring the very talented and funny Karen Molina White, who a lot of people remember from The Cosby Show and Malcolm and Eddie, uh, Jonathan Slocum, funny. comedian, G Thang, another the gospel, comedian. The yes. Gospel comedian. Yes, the gospel comedian, Jamie Patton, uh, Margot Becker, mm -hmm. and it's just a wonderful play about keeping love alive in your marriage for women, not losing yourself in your marriage. Um, and just an overall good time, lots of jokes. Brian sings about seven or eight songs. Nice. And it's a wonderful production. It literally plays out like a movie, which is something that I try to make sure with my plays. It's the second play that I've done with Jacarius Johnson and I'm Ready Productions, that it plays out like a movie. So y'all, we start on time. <laughs> I just want to put that out there first and foremost, <laughs> brothers and sisters. The show starts at 8 p.m. <laughs> Not 820. <laughs> not 825. <laughs> not 830. So Turned I need y'all to be here. We might give you a five minute grace. But overall, brothers and sisters, <laughs> please try to be there at 8 o'clock because we start on time because we like to give you the entire show <laughs> and not have to cut it out because, <laughs> yeah. see, Beacon Theater got rules and regulations. Yeah, yeah. Y'all need to know though, so that's why we're going to start what, y'all? On time. <laughs> 8 p.m. Beacon Theater, Cheaper to Keeper, opening night tonight. Very important for y'all to be on time, <laughs> on time so that you have a good time. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Yes. Are you doing any other projects? I know you always got some. I heard them teasing you about uh, Dancing with the Stars in the play. Hey, which Dancing with the Stars <laughs> led to beautiful things and led to Kirby enthusiasm, it believe sure. it or not. Oh, when whoa, I got whoa. kicked off, unfairly kicked off early, yeah, just want to put that out there. Didn't it was didn't. unfair. I got robbed. Because you were doing your thing. I was dropping it like it's hot. I was in the top three. Are you kidding? The three weeks in a row had the best dance the week before. Now, how does that happen? It was now, all unfair. Sudden, my fans just left me. It was unfair. They ain't going to do biblical like that. They ain't left when me 20 years. Show, Why they the going to leave me in three weeks? When you left the show, I left. Did you fans. turn the channel? I turned it off. Okay. Yeah. Done with them. But anyway, I mean, this year should, uh, this season should be exciting. They got Wendy Williams on there, uh -huh. Lil Romeo on there, yeah. uh, uh, Machio, the original Karate, karate Kid. Those were about the only three I could remember. Kendra, yeah. a playmate, is on there. Yeah. But it should be exciting. It's a fun show. Yeah. It's watched by 28 million viewers, mm -hmm. and it led to other things. Yeah. And But besides that, uh, but being on there, uh, I have my own wig line that's out. Oh. So all ladies, if you need some good hair, because I deal with only good hair, <laughs> please go to VivicaFoxHair.com to check it out. Oh, so <sighs> I am the voice of Angel Dynamite every okay. Monday night on the Cartoon Network on the new Scooby Doo. <laughs> I just shot a film with Robert Townsend, directed. Oh, it's Robert but doing? Robert is fantastic. He's directing now. And it's called The Discarded Boys, mm -hmm. uh, co starring Loretta Devine and Michael Clark Duncan. And it's a coming of age story of young men, how our young men, especially our young African American men, are being thrown away. They are the discarded boys because a lot of them are being raised in households where there's no men. Right. So they're not taught to become young men, to be men, to be the leaders of their households. So that's a, a beautiful thing that's happening too. I uh, did an episode of Melissa Loves Joey. And, I loved uh, you and Curb, yeah. your enthusiasm. The Blacks, that <laughs> the was Blacks. so funny. We added a whole new life to Curb, your enthusiasm. And I also discovered a whole new audience. I have Jewish people come up to me all, <laughs> uh, all the time. They're like, I really loved you on that show. <laughs> it was hilarious. Like they had just discovered Vivica Fox. Especially the last the, the last episode, you finally let that lady have it. Right. <laughs> Susie, yeah. yeah, she had to get it. People have been waiting on her to get it, too. Yeah, and, yeah. and if anybody was going to give it to her, it Vivica... Had to give it I to should have kicked her to the curb. Ah. I tried to. <laughs> Thank you so much. You were so welcome. As they Thank say you. in the world of theater, break a leg tonight. I'm going to break two of them. Oh! Booyah! I love it. Give <laughs> Fox right here, 107.5 WBLS. We thank you. I thank you back. Appreciate the love, y'all.